Hey guys, it's Am back with you with a new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to root pretty much every Android device, and I'm going to explain to you guys what root is for those people who don't know what rooting rooting Android means. So enjoy this video. And <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you, or actually I'm gonna explain to you what root is before I start the tutorial on how to do it. I'm gonna make a short explanation about root and so you can have an idea if you don't know already, okay? So root pretty much basically means jailbreaking your Android device, okay? Now Android is not like iOS. Uh, in iOS when you jailbreak your device, you can pretty much control everything on the OS, but Android already allows you to do that so rooting is not just like 100% like I uh, jailbreak in your iOS device okay but people mainly do root on their Android devices so they can have more battery life and boost up the speed of the device that's the two main things that I think people do root because okay there's other reason like um, adding additional languages and um, allowing you to use custom firmers and ROMs on your device and also unlocking your device to use it on a certain network okay and I have a link where you can have ideas about routing and have more information on what routing allows you okay as you can see flash ROM remove pre-installed application which means the applications that have been on your device just when you bought it and boost up your, your phone and stuff okay now this was a short explanation you can <clears throat> open this link from the description so you can have more ideas about it okay in order to root your device you first have to have a windows pc okay and after that you're going to open the link from the description and download this program which is called iroot Press on download to PC and it will start downloading, okay? After it will start downloading, you're just going to install the app and you will have it on your desktop. I'm not going to download or install because I have it already on my desktop and it's installed, okay? After you install it and download it, you're going to run it <coughs> and it will tell you to connect your iDevice, or I mean your Android device. But before you do so, before you connect it to your device, you first have to open your phone, go to your settings, scroll down to about phone and where you can see build number, tap it fa really fast seven times and then go back. Once you go back you will have this option which is the developer options which you didn't have before. But once you tap it seven times on the build number on your about phone you will have this option. Okay you're going to open developer options and you can uh, scroll down where you can see debugging it will either say USB debugging or Android debugging and you have to turn it on and then press on OK okay after you do so you're going to connect your phone to your PC I'm just gonna do it and show you how you can root your Android device okay so I have my Android device connected and I'm gonna open the application which is called root saying connecting okay once your device is verified and connected you're just going to easily press on root and I think that it can't get easier than this because it's just a click of a step you're gonna press root and it will start rooting your device now I'm not sure how many how, how many times that this takes but I think it's between one minute to five minute depending on the processor of your phone um, um, if it takes more than usual, I'm just gonna skip ahead until um, the process of rooting is over. But I think it it's done. I think yeah, because it's restarting my Android device right here, um, and yours is gonna do the same. I'm waiting for the device to be restarted. And the one good thing about rooting Android devices is you can unroot it anytime that you want to. Okay so yeah okay guys so it says that it's rooting my device now and there's another thing that i'm going to tell you or actually i'm going to explain what rooting is okay rooting allows you 
to also use the American Play Store, okay? So that's um, installing applications that you can normally install on your Android. Now here it says root failed, and you're just gonna press on retry, and it will root your device. Okay guys, so my device just restarted, and I think it is the last step after the restarting it will be rooted and it will be officially rooted and it may say root failed on your device or actually on your iroot program on your pc but that that is not 100 percent true because sometimes it said it says that root failed but it's actually rooted on your device okay so if it says root failed don't worry about it okay it took about like five minutes uh yeah as you can see it says root failed but this is not right after the device uh, restarts up uh, like two or three times uh your device is rooted so don't worry about this and if it's not rooted you can go and do the manual method or you can download it on your android and it's the same process but most likely, if it says root fail, don't worry about it, it's rooted, because uh, if your device is not rooted, you will not have these apps shown here, and you will not have this option right here, because only rooted devices will have this option shown, okay? So don't worry about it if it says root failed, okay guys? So that's pretty much it, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if I've helped you, uh, hit the like button and comment if you have any problems, and until next time, peace out. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video, um, be sure to watch my video on how to earn money using your phone, um, and if you have any problems with the tutorials that I posted, you can contact me through Facebook.